Jamie Brennan of Donegal celebrates after scoring a goal. Photo by Philip Fitzpatrick Sports Delay Sky Sports Analyst Peter Canavan gives his take on the weekend's Gaelic football action. Did we learn much from the weekend? A huge amount. I was impressed with Donegal. They, for me, were the story of the weekend. They play a lovely, open, expansive game and when you feed the ball into Michael Murphy and Patty McBriarty there is usually only one outcome. Down were caught on Sunday because they literally handed possession to Donegal from the kickout. About nine times in a row they went long and the ball was fetched by a Donegal hand. There were interceptions aplenty too and down were way too open at the back. Declan Bonner has seen Donegal into the Ulster final Ryan McHugh and Frank McLinn covered every blade of grass on the field and they left no stone unturned. I think they deserve great praise and at the start of the season one tipped them to win the Ulster championship, I stand by that still but it won't be easy against Fomana because all the space will be shut down and Murphy and McBriarty are going to have to work hard to break free. Rory Gallagher will know those lads inside out so that will be an intriguing subplot too. But they were the success story of the weekend, there is no doubt about that. Down will be very disappointed and so they should be. The thing is, whenever they got the ball into their inside forward line they got scores, and great scores at that. Kenny O'Hare and Conair Harrison would make any team in the land but they just didn't find these type of players often enough and again that all stems from how badly they were caught out under the kickout. Even with 14 men Donegal looked like they were the ones who had the extra man advantage. Did we learn much from Dublin versus Longford? No. All I would really say there is that at least Longford tried to have a go. The only issue is whether Stephen Cluxton got an injury that would be deemed serious enough to rule him out of the team for a few months. That would be a dilemma for the Dublin team and it would change the dynamic of things a little bit. But apart from that we learned little or nothing. Laos will have a hard job against them too. They are on a roll but they are not long out of Division 4 either at the end of the day and the gap is enormous. I wouldn't be too worried about Tyrone barely scraping past me than the qualifiers either. 302 Tyrone boss Mickey Hart says his side didn't take control of the game and were lucky to beat me than the All-Ireland SFC qualifiers. Tyrone boss Mickey Hart says his side didn't take control of the game and were lucky to beat me than the All-Ireland SFC qualifiers. Tyrone had a wobble against Westmeath in 2008 in the qualifiers, and Desi Dolan had a chance to win that game, but we got out of that one and it galvanized us. I feel it might be the same again. I think with a week off Tyrone can regroup and go again and I would definitely feel they can make the Super 8s. Fair play to Waterford for their win over Wexford, they made hard work of it in the end but they deserve it. They beat Pity OSC Acute S Clare in 2008 in London in 2011 and wins like that don't come along too often. They have to work hard for every bit of progress that they get so fair play to Tom McGlinchey for sticking with those lads. Fair play to Kean O'Neill too. His Kildare side faced possibly the trickiest tie of the lot having to travel to Owen Beck to play Derry but they did the job and they are back on the horse. That took a bit of resolve after losing to Carlo last time out. You can now receive all the latest GAA news and more on your personal devices. The Sky Sports mobile app will keep you up to date with the latest news from your favorite sports, now including GA. Here's how to receive the alerts you want.